Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Duran. So today we're going to talk about the truth about taste. Um, and taste is a huge factor, okay? Especially when we're talking about the realm of dieting, weight loss, or, or just getting healthy in general, or changing your diet, or changing what you eat for, for whatever that purpose is, right? Um, taste is a huge factor. Now, why is it a huge factor? It's, it's because taste is, is, is the primary factor in determining what you actually put in your mouth in terms of food, okay? It doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter how many books you've read. It doesn't matter, you know, how educated you are. It doesn't matter how, how detailed of a diet plan you have. What matters is the moment-to-moment -moment decision making when you decide what food to actually put in the mouth, okay? Chew up, swallow in, into the body. And taste plays a huge role in that. Taste plays a huge role. So I want to talk briefly about what taste actually is and what it's not and, and how that can kind of help you um, uh, just have a better sense of awareness of what's going on within your system because once you have a better sense of awareness, it's like the light in your room is turned on and you can see better and you're able to make um, decisions with more information. You're, you're able to make decisions um, not sitting in the dark, so to speak, right? So taste. First of all, what you need to know is, is taste is not good or bad, okay? Even though people like to say, and we've gotten a habit of this, oh, how, how was your meal? Oh, that tasted good. It tastes good, or it tastes bad, right? Good and bad are not tastes. Good and bad are perceptions, and perceptions can be influenced and altered by lots of different things, right? So, for example, um, let's say you take a, a meal, a dish, or something that, that you don't like, right? You don't like it. And then you don't eat for three days, okay? Let's pretend you don't even like, you don't like broccoli or something, right? You don't like broccoli. Oh, I absolutely hate broccoli. You don't eat for three days, okay? After three full days of not eating, that broccoli, if somebody puts a plate of broccoli in front of you, that's going to be the best tasting food you've ever had. I promise you, okay? So the same holds true for take whatever your favorite dish that you think is, right? Maybe, maybe cupcakes are your favorite thing, right? They taste so good. If you had to eat cupcakes every single meal of the day, every day for a year, how do you think those cupcakes are going to taste, right? By the end of that, not very good, right? So the point there is that your perception of taste, good and bad, when, when, we, when we say good and bad in terms of taste, that can be altered, and that's based on a lot of different things, primarily your memory and your experiences with food, okay, and what you've grown up eating. But taste is, is, <clears throat> is something different. Taste is something different. And taste is just a way for your, for, for your body, okay, and your brain and your tongue, right, these three things to figure out what chemicals are in the food that you're eating, right? Because the body doesn't speak in food, you guys. The body doesn't know what a cheeseburger is. The body doesn't know what an apple is. The body knows what chemicals are. The body is a chemical soup, okay? The body doesn't know the name apple or the name cheeseburger or anything like that. Those are things that we've made up, okay, to describe some kind of group of chemicals, basically a food chemical, right? And so the body doesn't know that stuff. The body knows chemicals. Well, we don't eat chemicals. We eat food, right? So there has to be this translation process, right? So when the, when the, when the body that needs chemicals talks to the brain and says, hey, brain, I need some of this stuff. And the brain says, okay, now I got to go look out in the world, okay, and get food because they don't, it's not just chemicals. We don't, we don't eat food in terms of chemicals like that. We don't look for, oh, I need a little bit of carbon today. I need some nitrogen today. That's not how we think about things, right? Think about things in terms of food. And so, and so taste is the tool, okay? Your brain doesn't know what that apple, what tastes or what chemicals are in that apple. So the brain uses the tool, the tongue, right? The brain uses the tongue to sense that, and the tongue can actually receive the chemicals in food. And then that talks to your brain and says, okay, this is what that is, right? So that's how that's working. And so there's six foundational tastes. There's sweet, salty, sour, bitter, pungent, and astringent. Those are the six foundational tastes. And those tastes relate directly to certain types of chemicals, which relate directly to certain types of foods. 
Taste is a direct relation to the different types of foods. So when, when people talk about variety, right? In, the, in order to eat healthy, in order to be healthy, we need to get a variety of food. That's true partly, but the variety doesn't come in randomly choosing food. Variety comes in taste because taste is the way the body can sense the chemicals. The body needs different chemicals. It's like, it's like construction workers building this house. Okay, they don't need all of the same materials all the time. They need a variety of different materials at different points in time, depending on what needs to be fixed. And we can describe all of those different materials in terms of their tastes, because the tastes relate to the chemicals in the food, okay? And so uh, the truth about taste is this. Taste is not good or bad. The, the truth about taste is that taste relates to food and the chemicals in food. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, pungent, astringent. That's the words that we've used to, to help kind of describe what those different chemicals are, right? So here's what you can do right away. This isn't, we, we can't get too crazy in depth in here. If you want to get crazy in depth and learn the, the meat of this and learn everything about this and how to use it for your individual body, I teach a class, a live online class. It's called Awakening Your Taste. And I'll put a link in, in the description below where you can go register for that. Um, but what you can do right now is this. You can, when you eat, you, when you eat, you can you can work on trying to identify the actual taste. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, pungent, astringent. Try to actually identify what you're tasting in the food as opposed to saying, oh, this is good or oh, this is bad. If you can start to try to identify those tastes, your mind will start to um, stop looking at food in a comparison way, right? In a biased way of saying, I don't like this, I don't like that, I like this, I like that, in a, in a in comparative way. And you can start to appreciate the food for what it is, right? And that's a big stepping stone moving forward into opening up your, um, your awareness and your mind to being able to eat a variety of different foods which you need, okay? Hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, there is a truth about taste and, it, and taste is not good or bad. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day.